back, Dukes and Duke Edge Eddie Ed TV. I'm Eddie Ed back with another video. Man, we got um, a video from Swoozy. It's called Simps. And if you don't know what Simps mean, pause the video right now. Go to the Urban Dictionary and type in Simps. Congratulations, you played yourself. Simping is not pimping. Enough talking. Let's hop straight into this video. Links in the description to the other channels and all that good stuff to my email. Let's get it poppin'. For anybody who's not familiar with the term simp, I heard somebody on Twitch put it in a really good way. You have a dog who loves his owner. The dog's whole world is based around the owner. And then you have that owner who comes home and he's just like, eh. The owner's real busy. He even uses that app, Wags, to get somebody else to come and walk the dog. That dog is just a fraction of the owner's life. That dog is the simp in this equation. The owner is there literally shopping for a cat online. Meanwhile, the dog is there licking the bottom of his feet. Most of us have simped at some point in our life for somebody that we found attractive. Let's just keep it 100%, but it's good to rest. Hey, listen, he's not lying. When you were younger, middle school, high school, I mean, probably some of you guys are in high school. Y'all with her simp, y'all, y'all drooling at the pretty girl, yo, I. I've been getting some DMs. Y'all been drooling on, on some girls that y'all need to stand up and be men about. Stop drooling, okay? We, I know she might be cute to you. I know she might be fine. Stop simping because you know why? You you about to be throwing out the game. You about to be throwing out the game, man. They don't, they don't want simps. Recognize if you're currently doing this and course correct. A little while ago, I had a girl hit me up and she was like, take me somewhere tropical. Pause. Huh? Huh? You played yourself. I'm not taking you nowhere, if you ask me like that. Back to her. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'll take me somewhere tropical because I'm so stressed. Let's go somewhere like. So I'm your stress reliever. Because you're stressed, I gotta take you somewhere to relieve your stress. How about you take your own self somewhere? <laughs> What do I gotta do with your stress? Why am I connected in relieving your stress pain? Am I your guy? And if you're relieving somebody's stress pains, let's not even go there. Um, I'm not with you, so what are we doing? Egg in the Caribbean. She's saying let's, like she's gonna contribute in any way, shape, or form. For example, if somebody hit you up and said, hey, let's go buy a car, both of y'all show up to the dealership, you look at her and she's like, I didn't bring any money. And fellas, I'm talking about what we doing happened here? to you before, but in a Never way, happened to me. Changed the word. You probably got a text and it was worded like this. I miss you. Let's go grab a bite. This bait simping where you don't even realize you're simping for somebody, but they bait you in, knowing dang well they're just using you as a free meal. It sucks because there's actually people out there who do miss you and do want to hang out with you. Let me tell you how I figured out this little plot. This one girl texted me and she was like, Are my texts even going through to you? Uh, you're like ignoring me or something. Uh, okay, well, what was the last text you sent me? She sends me the screenshot over and I noticed there's a pizza slice next to my name. Wow! Oh, that's disrespectful. Dang, a pizza slice? <laughs> yo, yo, oh my gosh. That is crazy. You know what is funny about that? Right now, each and every one of us is in somebody's phone, not as a, not as a piece of slice, but as some kind of name that the person would never call you, but they saved your name as that word, you know? Like, oh, punk, uh, um, you know, talk a lot, um, annoying. Like, there's somebody's, you're in somebody's phone right now, possibly, that has you as a name that's not your name. Hopefully, guys, you're not simping and getting labeled as pizza or food or something like that. thought was, hold up, wait a minute, this girl thinks I'm a snack. But then my second thought was, hold up, wait a minute. The only time I ever hear from this girl is when it's a, I miss you, let's go get some food, and I pay every time. She missed getting free meals, that's the what, that's what the heck she missed. She missed getting free meals, she don't miss you. She missed the perks. Y'all, man, ladies, man, why y'all gotta do that? She hits me with the, I missed you, let's get some food. So I'm like, yeah, 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 let's go get some food. As Soon as we sit down, I'm like, yo, uh, you got me this time. I paid for the last time, you got me this time, right? Cool. The look on this girl's face was kind of like, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Order my burger. I'm in the mood for ice cream. Made her pay for my ice cream too. This is all a test. I've taken her out dozens of times. Think she might have spent $15 on me total. Tell me why come that was the last time this girl has ever asked me to go out to eat. Mm, peculiar. And you want to know what really messed me up? I was on Twitter one day and then I saw this. And then I was like, hold up. One day and then I saw this. Stop texting first and see how many dead plants you have been watering. Wow. And then I was like, hold up. Oh, wait a minute. I've been possibly simping out here, even for friends. Everybody's out here talking about, oh, you're simping for this Twitch person, and you're simping, simping OnlyFans. Nobody ever talks about unbalanced friendships and us out here simping for our friends. Let's, let's discuss. And if you're like me, you put 100% in and you go out of your way for everybody in your circles, but you can start getting taken advantage of real easy when you do that. Not everybody's like me in this sense, but I'd much rather have no friends than a gang of fake friends. And I feel like it's- Yeah, people, people out there, man, give nothing. They wanna take your time. They wanna take your effort. They wanna take your, your friendship. But in return, they don't give you anything. They don't give you no encouragement. They don't give you no motivation. They don't give you no, no, you know, no real, you, friend. like, I need, if we're gonna be friends, we need to sharpen each other. If one person is doing the sharpening, the other person is getting dulled out. That person gotta get cut off, man. They gotta go. It's true. It's my responsibility that if I'm gonna talk about this, I need to also talk about friends out there who are doing too much. There are some annoying friends out there. If you come on too strong, you, you, you're gonna end up pushing people away from you. There's this girl I met, really cute girl, really fun, great personality. After we met, we started hanging out everywhere. Dave and Buster's, the movies. I pay for everything, this is how I roll. Then all of a sudden I notice she starts bringing her best friend around. Cool, now I'm paying for all of us and we're, go we're going out and chilling. It was a great friendship, group chat, everything. And then I see that tweet and I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. Every time we hang out, every time we talk, every time we even do anything is when I initiate conversation in the group chat. Let me just fall back and then see how long it takes for them to initiate something in the group chat. I have not heard from these two girls since. The one time I decided to test this friendship, it was paper thin. If you have somebody who's literally sponsoring all your extravaganzas, you can't even raise a thumb? Y'all couldn't even pull a, I miss you, let's grab a bite? Once? But let me drop a Uno reverse on y'all real quick. In some cases, it's okay to simp. I meet this girl, we start talking, and we start talking on the phone a lot. And then one time we're on the phone and I'm like, hey, let me let you go. Uh, I'm finna go watch Walking Dead. Side note, this is back when it was good. So this was on a Friday. Hang up the phone, don't hear from her until like Monday. She hits me up. So, um, I watched The Walking Dead. Let's talk about it. You said you didn't watch the show. Yeah, but like, you mentioned it on the phone that you were gonna go watch it. So I figured, oh, if he's into it, I'll give it a shot too. And I'm all caught up. Hold up. Wait a minute. You watched six years of <laughs> yeah. episodes over the weekend because I just mentioned it in passing? Yes, yeah. She's lying, That's bro. some hardcore behavior, y'all. So what I did, I was like, you're not gonna outfriend me. Okay, you name any show. Or a show. It could be true. I will watch the trailer for it. Kidding, no, I told her, name any episode, I'll watch the entire first season. It's okay to simp for somebody if they're gonna simp for you back. This other time, I was on my Instagram story and I was trying to get a hold of this game and it was sold out everywhere and they didn't have digital downloads for this game. And I'm on my story talking about, guys, I can't find this game anywhere. I'm stressed. This girl saw my story, DM'd me and she said, hey, I looked up the game, I found it. I can go pick it up, buy it for you and send it to you. She refused to let me pay her for it, but I was like, yeah, yes, I want this game. Months later, I come to find out this girl found a game and it was out of town. She drove an hour to pick it up and then an hour back and then mailed it to me. This girl did a few more things after that. I'm not gonna get into it on this video. Maybe in the future, we'll see. Hold up, Swoozy. What you talking about? What she did, what, what extra stuff? Was it extracurricular activities? <laughs> Fast forward, I'm looking on her story and she's like, I want this PC so bad, but I don't has the monies. There's a $1,500 computer. venmo her right then and there, no hesitation. And if you guys don't pay attention to anything I've said in this video, just hear me on this one. Some people around you are gonna celebrate you. Some people are just gonna tolerate you. 
and it's a very good idea to figure out who's going to do which. Hey, good video from Swoozy, man. They're not real friends. They're, they're just, they just want to use you. They just want to take what you got and have fun while, while it lasts. Or not even take what you have, maybe just be around you when you shine. Just, just want to be along for the ride and, and enjoy and be, oh yeah, you're his friend. Oh, you're cool. Like they want to be a part of the cool, a part of the cool. Uh. So now they want to be a part of the cool kids or what it like the cool surrounding club, you know? They just want to be a part. And those people, I have encountered those type of people. I don't rock with that. I don't rock with any fake. Man. If you're new, subscribe. It's free. Yeah, let's get it rocking. Let's keep it pop. Said he TV. Catch you guys next video. Bye. Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, what?